Joy's Planet Patrol Plan by Minnie Tementi, illustrated by Ashley Mims. After she visits a wetland being destroyed by trash, Joy plans an action for the Planet Patrol. She and a friend leave paper messages on cars' windshields with reminders not to litter. Joy sadly discovers on a return visit that her paper slips now litter the wetland, but her enthusiasm returns when she volunteers for park cleanup day. Joy's Planet Patrol Plan. Joy and Ryan stood in front of the huge mural they had just painted in the school hallway. It was called Be Kind to Earth. What's our next project? Joy asked Ms. Popper, the teacher who worked with Joy's Green Rangers Science Club. Save the whales, called out Ryan. Stop global warming, shouted Rosa. Cleaner cars, cried out Joy. All good ideas, said Ms. Popper, but I have an even better plan. Follow me. Ms. Popper led the Green Rangers out to the playground. Then she guided them across the street into a parking lot on the other side. Awesome, said Joy, a field trip. Beyond the parking lot, the class arrived at Catalpa Creek Park. This must be Catalpa Creek, said Ryan. Exactly. This whole area is a natural area called a wetland, said Ms. Popper. I know what a wetland is, said Joy. It's land that is wet. Get it? Ryan laughed. Actually, Joy, you're right, said their teacher. A wetland is wet land. It's a special habitat, Joy interrupted. It's home to reptiles, fish, birds, mammals, and all kinds of insects. Everyone looked at Joy, then back at Ms. Popper. Joy's right again. The plants here feed the animals, Ms. Popper went on. Then some of those animals become the food that the other animals eat. A complicated web of life, said Joy. Ms. Popper looked at Joy as if Joy were a space alien. I don't know where you come up with these things, said Ms. Popper, but you're right, it's complicated. And this habitat is also in a lot of danger. Suddenly, a bird with long legs swooped down into the pond. A great blue heron, Ms. Popper whispered. The whole group stood in the shade of a tree, watching the beautiful bird. Joy squinted to see the rest of the pond through the sunlight sparkling on the water. She thought that the sounds of rippling, dripping water, buzzing insects, and singing birds were like a dream. Suddenly, the dream was shattered. A car rattled over the bridge that crossed Catalpa Creek. Whoosh! The driver threw a paper bag out of the window. Soda cups and burger cartons landed in the water with a splash. Hey, that's pollution, Joy shouted at the car. The other rangers started to yell too, but the car sped away. And that's what I mean when I say the wetlands are in trouble, said Ms. Popper. If you look around closely, you'll see that people are ruining this beautiful place. The rangers took a closer look at the pond. There was rubbish everywhere. Old car tires, a shopping cart, cans and bottles. There were even plastic bags in the branches of trees. This is out of control, cried Joy. Exactly, said Ms. Popper. Wetlands all over the country have the same problem. Starting next week, we'll think about ways in which we can solve the problem. Joy watched a Canada, Canada goose swim back and forth across the pond. She's on patrol, thought Joy. It's time people were on patrol too. That night, Joy worked at her home computer for hours. She printed out page after page of pink paper sheets. 
She cut each page into small slips. Each slip said the same thing. An important message, pollution is out of control. The wetlands in Catulpa Park are in trouble. Stop littering, recycle instead. Thank you and have a nice day, the Planet Patrol. Joy placed all of the pink sheets into a nice green folder. She could hardly wait to share her plan with Ryan. The next morning, Joy and her mother picked up Ryan at his house. Then they drove to the parking lot of Catalpa Creek Park across from the school. Joy showed Ryan her pink paper slips. Who's the Planet Patrol? asked Ryan. We are, said Joy. We're on patrol to save the planet. We can start right here. How? asked Ryan. We'll put one message on each parked car. Ryan and Joy started putting the pink slips on each car windshield. The planet patrol is on the job, said Joy as she waved goodbye to her mother. A week later, the Green Rangers walked to the pond at Catalpa Creek Park again. So, any plans for how we can help save our wetlands? asked Ms. Popper. Actually, some of us have already started helping, said Joy. Before Ms. Popper could ask Joy what she meant, the group reached the pond. Everyone became silent. Eric spoke up first. What's all that pink paper in the water? Slips of pink paper were floating all over the pond. Rosa picked up a slip. It says it's from the Planet Patrol. Joy gulped. That's us, said Ryan softly. It was really my plan, said Joy. I thought the Planet Patrol could help stop littering and pollution in the pond. Joy explained what she and Ryan had done. I guess people who toss out litter toss out paper messages too, said Ms. Popper. I guess so, said Joy sadly. But it was a good plan and a great start for our next project, said Ms. Popper. In fact, the park needs volunteers for a one day cleanup next weekend. Any Green Ragers want to help? All hands went up. Yes, Joy shouted. Now that's a great plan.